without a great barrel, you're not going to have an accurate rifle. Right. It all starts at the barrel. Yeah. So walk me through where that, from that barrel to this receiver. So every barrel that we offer, any of the configurations, is based off the same Japanese steel. Japanese steel is some of the best steel in the world. Um, and the way that b these barrels are manufactured is that they're actually cold hammer forged. So every single barrel starts as a barrel blank and then the mandrel is inside to give it that nice twist rate for the different calibers and then it's hammered on. And what they mean by cold is basically room temperature. They don't mm -hmm. heat the, they don't stress the steel at all. And then those hammers, um, tons and tons of force are going to hammer the barrel into the, into the desired profile. It's going to be machined afterwards. Uh, and stress relieved and then there you go there's your accurate barrel and what the cold hammer forging does is it basically compresses those steel molecules down and makes them super hard super tough and super resistant to wear and the mandrels create a very precise surface to um, have the bullet travel down the rifling and create that accuracy then you go with that high quality barrel and it gets threaded to this receiver Correct. The receiver is um, machined from the same steel that they're going to cold hammer forge the barrels from. Mm -hmm. So that is very rigid, it's very precise, and what you'll notice is it's flat bottom with an integral recoil lug. Many receivers out on the market, um, you know, there's they're nothing wrong with them, but a lot of them are just straight tubes that are just machined out. That's it. They machine them out, it's very cheap and easy to use, they slap a recoil lug on the end of it. Um, it's very cheap and easy for them to do. Howa does not take that approach. Flat bottom is very precise, integral recoil lug, so everything is um, very solid. Right. It's, it's one of the most solid receivers on the market. And yeah. the recoil lug is actually what takes the brunt of the force under right. recoil. That's why it's called the recoil lug. Right. So it's very imperative to have a very strong and flat, perfectly flat mating surface because that's where a lot of your accuracy is going to come from. Right. It needs to do the same thing over and over and over again to achieve accuracy because accuracy is consistency. So that flat edge, that, that one piece receiver with that integral recoil lug is a solid foundation for that recoil to operate off of and repeatability of the next round so it's not moving around in the stock. So it makes perfect contact. You take this receiver as, as strong and as sturdy and as consistent as it is. You thread this barrel to that receiver and you got the foundation for accuracy. Correct, and that's why they call them Howa Precision Rifles. Precision Rifles.